Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Protest Samaritan. How are you doing, Paddy? You alright? Yeah, I'm not, too, I'm not too bad, man. I'm not too bad at all. Uh, is that uh, Adams? Adams? Arsenal Adams? Yeah, behind you. Um, what's his name? Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. I'll kind of just. Tony Adams. Some, yeah, Tony, Tony Adams. Adams, that's it. Put some random stuff behind me every now and then just to cover an <laughs> untidy wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he plays for Arsenal, man. You don't like him, do you? Ah, uh, it's my wife. She's a gooner, so yeah. She's, ah, uh, she's got a few okay. few Arsenal bits. Nice one, very good. So look, uh, sure. Look, well, let's start with your boys then. Uh, what was your? You you were at the match. Uh, I was, Stan, yeah. What do you think of it? It was a fair result, to be honest. Um, I mean, Bournemouth didn't have a shot until they scored their goal. Um, which is a little bit annoying. I'll probably blame Adrian a little bit for his positioning for that goal. But yeah, I mean, one was a fair result. We didn't do enough to win the game. I'm glad we responded and um, got back in the game so quickly. Um, but Hernandez actually scored um, his 42nd Premier League goal and every single goal he's scored in the Premier League has been inside the box. <laughs> um, Proper goal hanger. I love yeah, that. yeah, for sure. But no... Um, I mean, we've got Palace next, Crystal Palace next. So, you know, it's another big game. We've got a decent run coming out. I think Watford after that. So I'm not too disheartened with a point, um, especially with the way we played. We weren't we weren't at our best. So, yeah, I'll take that. To be and where, where, where's the Watford match? Home or away? Oh, it's, a, it's at home. It's at home. I sound. And then it should be managerless and headless chicken. So, yeah, it should be grand. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't, I don't know. That, no, they've got... Um, they brought that guy in. I can't remember his name. They got rid of Silver and brought in Javi. Gar- it's not Garcia. It's like a couple of letters changed. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's done, is it? Okay, okay. I didn't know that was done. Yeah, okay. no, that's done. Uh-huh. Ah, well, you know, should be all right. Because they, they got a hammering off of Arsenal the other day. I was watching it, and uh, they were brutal. They were absolutely terrible. Um, I mean, they, they have got problems. Just, I, I think they... Three or four nil at half time, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, Palace. Um, uh, I mean, four nil at half time. They, yeah, they were four nil after yeah. twenty minutes, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. know what yeah. their defence was doing. So I'm looking forward to the Palace game. Should be good. Um, so I think if we win that, then the pressure's off, and I think we can potentially give give the FA Cup a little bit of love and try and do yeah. well in that competition. What do you think about? Um, uh, what do you think about Watford getting rid of him, Marco Silva? I think it was. Um, I think the excuse was a little bit lame. They come out and said that they get. Although the results haven't been great, they're still sitting tenth. But they actually come out and mm. said that Everton approaching uh, them for Marco Silva, he's kind of lost his focus. And nah. I think it was just. Uh, and the fact they had a manager lined up already straight away to a point on the very mm. same day, it, it all seemed a bit suspect to me. Um, yeah, well, sure. They must. They must have just been. Had, they must have been expecting them Everton to pay the what was it, ten million, twelve million they wanted? I think it was twenty in the end. Twenty, was it? Yeah, something silly <laughs> like that. But um so I, think it's, I, I, rate, I think he's a good manager. Yeah, Honestly yeah, do. Yeah, me too, yeah, yeah. He'll be uh I tend I, I was reading somewhere, um a couple of people are, are tipping him to get the Southampton job when that becomes available, which could be, be soon, you know. Interesting. It'd be interesting to see but, if he if he doesn't take a job. For the next few months, whether David Moyes mm. gets kept or not, and maybe yeah, we'll go I for think, him. Yeah. Yeah. But he got appointment for West Ham, all right. But I, I don't know about Southampton. Southampton are they've they've a couple of okay results now to get. They're looking better. I was watching them against Spurs yesterday, and it was actually it was actually all, they were actually all right. Like they had a couple of chances. Either team could have won it at the end. Mm. You know? but, um, yeah, for sure. That's Stevens yeah, missed yeah, a yeah. glaring header, didn't he? Um, yeah, yeah, and the new, the new, the new kid. The, he's Irish. He plays for Ireland. Uh, other, other, other Femi. I think his name is. He plays for Ireland. Yeah, he he didn't connect properly, did he? No, if he'd have gotten that, oh. he definitely would have scored. He, he's supposed to be very good for the under twenty one. Not that I've, not that I've seen that. Of Me him neither. Or just, just from reading bits and pieces, he's meant to be. Um, he's meant to be a really good goal scorer for the under twenty one. So it's just, it's just. Hopefully this is an under twenty ones that the English won't steal on us again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you can any, have to... if he's got any sense, he will switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um what else stood out from the weekend, man? I suppose Man City. Um 
Yeah, yeah. you were right in the podcast yourself and Pro Tips to Johnny. Uh, you had advised um, um, that's a plus two and a half, so you were, you were spot on with that. Yeah, that's true. When I um, went for unders in the United game as well, which um, which come off. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a bit surprised by Everton, to be honest. That's probably the yeah. standout. I just didn't, I didn't expect them to to um, drop points against West Brom. But credit to West Brom, they went there, did a job. Uh, they looked a better team for most of the game. Um, yeah, they did, yeah. But like, it's pretty bad when it's pretty bad if you can't beat West Brom at home. That that was the only the only match I bet on all weekend. The only Premier League football, soccer. <laughs> I bet on all weekend was, was Everton and West Brom and yeah, Everton let me down. I was pulling my hair out at the end, but then like when I heard <clears throat> when I heard about um McCarthy's injury. Oh um, that's horrendous, wasn't it? Oh uh, shocking, wasn't it? Uh, and yeah, that it does it does affect a team, you know, it really does. It's hard hard to keep your head straight when something like that starts happening and it's just awful. Like he's just back a couple of games. I think he's only four or five games under his belt and then mm. and now this is like uh, I mean, I never wish that on anyone. I mean, as a West Ham fan, I don't think a lot of West Ham fans like James McCarthy because of some things he's done in the past against us, but mm. wouldn't wish that on anybody. That was horrendous. And, yeah. you know, he's probably going to be out for a good nine months to a year. And oh, yeah, you're, yeah. you always yeah. wonder whether they're going to come back and be as yeah. good as they were. So that's well, a shame. How, how good they'll be. Yeah, Leicester. Leicester had a good one, 2 0. Although, yeah. okay, it's Watford, but still, they're kind, of, they're kind of creeping back up the table again. And they're, they're, you know, they're grinding out results and they're doing all right. Like, Yeah, Mari scored as well. Vardy, I mean, they, them two are playing well again under Puel. He's just got them playing good football. Um, mm. And yeah, when they play, t- when they come up against teams like Watford now, you expect them to, to brush them aside 1 or 2, 3 0. And it's exactly what they did. Vardy got another penalty. Um, yeah. I wrote down a stat here, actually. Where is he? Um, did I write it down? No, maybe I didn't write it down. But something silly like <laughs> Vardy's, Vardy's got the most penalties over the last three years or something out of every Premier League. Um, um, what do you think of the Paul Lambert effect? You know what? I mean, I expected, whether Paul Lambert was in charge or not, I expected them to, to do Huddersfield at home because I, I just don't think they're a great team at the minute. And mm. Stoke, Stoke on paper... A half decent. I think their new. I can't, I can't remember his name. The new guy got the man of the match, didn't he? Um, apparently, he's he's fitted in quite well. So, it'd be interested to see how he does in the next few weeks. But yeah, I think Stoke. They've had a poor season, but I think they'll be okay. Luckily for them, this season, I think there's three teams worse than them. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They were always going to. Yeah, regress to the mean, isn't it? Is that what they say? They were always going to go to. It was just a matter kind of a matter of time before before they they, they bounce back, you know. But, uh, yeah, well, you know, any interviews I saw him, he seems like he's really happy to be happy to be back working in that. So that's 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 pretty cool. Uh, I think he's a good manager. Just, um, whether yeah. he's whether he's good enough to to help Stoke progress compared to Mark Hughes is another question because I think Mark Hughes yeah. Mark Hughes did all right apart from this season where you know results went against him. Oh, I think Stoke finished ninth for like three seasons in a row or something. So uh, I think Paul Lambert can probably deliver that, but I don't think. I don't think any manager could potentially take Stoke any further than that, unfortunately. Yeah, it's kind of like, I mean, I mean okay, and like how, how could Stoke grow, you know? Well, this is it. They're in, a, they're in a middle of nowhere, like in the middle of England, yeah. in a rubbish place. The weather's terrible. No foreign players are going to really want to sign there. Um, you know, they get sold a dream, and then when they sign, they're like, oh, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I just wonder who... What talent they in the future they can attract? Yeah, it's going to be yeah, very yeah. difficult for them. Um, be. Um, what else? Did I, uh, Chelsea were. It was watching Chelsea's. They were. They were great the other day. Oh, some of the goals they yeah. scored were incredible. Yeah. That I think it was the second or third goal. It was, I think it was the second goal. Uh, William second scored one, yeah. and William. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Ashwai awesome. flicked it to Hazard and flicked it to William. That was a beautiful goal. That was. Mm. Um, mm. It was magic. Um, what was I going to ask you about? Um, there were some other talking points as well. Let me see. I've never lost them. Um, I can't believe Sanchez and Mkhitaryan still isn't done yet. How is this not done yet? Like oh. they, they both should have been playing on Saturday. Yeah, know? dragging on and on. Um, probably getting out yeah. tomorrow. To be fair. Yeah, I, I, I really don't like this January transfer window. It just goes on for too long. Why don't they just make it two weeks or something? You know. Yeah, there's so much speculation all throughout the week. Nothing really happens until the very end. 
It's yeah. so hard to sign any decent players yeah. in January as well. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think is going to happen with, with Allardyce? Do you think? Do you think? Because this is a bad run they're on now. It's, I think it was that's their seventh. I think it's that's their seventh match to win. Actually, can I ask you the same question for Burnley? Burnley, even though Burnley actually, well, it was only watched the highlights. Burnley, Burnley played all right against Man United, but same thing. I think it's six or seven games now. They haven't won. They're drawing a lot of games. In fairness, but. Yeah, I mean, I've only lost eight games this this season. Um, but I think the worry for Burnley is that they just don't seem to score many goals. And mm. uh, Sean Dyer should be all right. Um, you know, there's no worry, no no worry about him losing his job, even if they end up losing like the next ten games or something. Um, they only need two wins to be safe. Everton as well, I think. You know, they're they're a bit of sticky patch again, but they'll be all right, and they'll probably stick with Allardyce now um, going into next season. I think yeah. it'd be silly for either, you know, even if they both go on a poor run of form, um, it'd be silly for either team to get rid of their manager, to be honest. Um, oh, yeah. But it opens up the gap for us anyway. West Ham, well, you know, we're only, I'm just looking at the league table now, we're only seven points off, uh, oh, we're eight points off seventh. So if we can get top half finish this season, it'd be great. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be magic for you, yeah. Um, yeah, Spurs, uh, Martin. Um, mm-hmm. Like really going up against Southampton yesterday, they, you know, I, th- I think they were like one point six, one point seven to win, something like yeah, that. Yeah, quite sure. Between those two, like they really, okay, okay, it was a decent enough game. Southampton were, um, uh, were, were, were pretty good. They put up a fight, but at the same time, Spurs, you know, over their recent form, uh, Southampton's recent form, Spurs should be doing better than that. Yeah, it's a little bit of a surprise. Um, I think as well the fact that Ericsson was missing was a was apparent, you know, that was a clear, clear big blow. Um, they seem to be devoid of some ideas going forward. Um, but yeah, I, I expected Spurs to, to win that quite comfortably. But like you say, Southampton did put up a fight and they could have won it on another day. Um, it yeah. just it just goes like that sometimes. Some, You know, on paper, Spurs are very short. You expect them to roll over Southampton and then, you know, they just put in a great performance. It, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. So, uh, did you watch any of the American football? You know what? I, di- I didn't watch the uh, the Eagles completely obliterate the Vikings. I didn't watch that, but I did watch most of the uh, Patriots yeah. win over the Jaguars. Um, yeah, it was, it was the same. I watched the... Uh, yeah, exactly the same. I watched the first quarter of uh, Vikings, and I thought, okay, the Vikings had this. This is fine. I went yeah. to bed, and, and then this morning they checked. I was like, holy, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, no, no. It's <laughs> a shame, <laughs> because... Yeah, it would have been nice to see the Vikings get to a final at their own yeah. their own stadium. But um, yeah, it's just, it's just the Patriots. I'm, I'm, I've never really been a fan of the Patriots. They always seem to grind out results when when least expected. And Tom Brady's yeah. in another final, uh, another uh-huh. Super Bowl. Um, they'll probably win it as well. Annoyingly, um, yeah, I'd like to see the Eagles win it. The Eagles have the Eagles ever won it? I don't think they have, have they? I don't think so, man. I'm not too sure. Uh, We've got to one yeah, or two. It, and the, but the thing is, like, it's kind of like, uh, it's like, it's like you know the way you know the way Michael Schumacher ruined Formula One <laughs> because he was yeah. so good. It's the same with Tom Brady. He's like, he's just so good. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I was watching last night, just thinking, like, I want to hate you. I want to hate you because you're so good and so dominant. But like, <laughs> he's he's a genius. Like, he's just he's just he's oh, yeah. so good. Like, you know, with a dodgy hand just, as well. Yeah, 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 and it's, why? Well, come on, that was all a uh, red herring, you know. Not, uh, not, do you reckon? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. Yeah, could, he said it after, there was some interview, he said after, he said he only had four stitches in it. Well, like, you mm. know, and, um, yeah, but the passes he was finding us, they, they were just outstanding, so. Yeah, very And incredible. the line has been, the early line this morning was minus five in the pitch. It's, it's gone now to, my, to minus five and a half. Wow. So people are, are backing them fairly heavy already. I think they're one point one point four, one point four five to win it already. So uh yeah, it's gonna be good. It's yeah. Sunday week, isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah. I'm a f I'm I'm a big fan of the underdog in American football, so uh I'll be rooting for Philadelphia for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, especially especially the home dog. You know, the home dog is what you're <laughs> looking at when you when you're trading. I was I, cause I, I, I had to yeah, I was trading on, on, on the Patriots one last night and um, yeah. the the great thing about trading on a game is well maybe maybe not if it's your team. Like if it's your team then you can see uh, very quickly on, on Betfair or, or the exchange what way the yeah. match is going or if there's a goal. 
because you know yourself that the football or the TV is like three or four seconds behind. Oh yeah. But there was a moment. There was a moment in the game where I was thinking, "Oh no, my money's gone." It was a whatever. It was only a ten or whatever. I was thinking, "Oh, my money's gone." And next thing, just the, the price is just a like, boop, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, oh, here we go. Brady's done something. Brady's done something." And uh, yeah, that was more or less it. But it was just mad because they had um, it was there was a moment where um, it looked like the Patriots were coming back. They had four mm-hmm. goals, lost it. And everyone thought, okay, this is it now. It's game over. You know, Tom Brady's not not going to get to the final. And uh, the Jags did the same, exactly the same thing. Had four chances, completely screwed it up. And then, yeah. and, then and then the Patriots came back and won. It was it was, such, it was a brilliant end. Really, really brilliant end. I, I wish I'd stayed up for the for the Vikings now, but it was like oh, I think it was half one or something over here. Oh, it was very late, late, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm working <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> so, NFL people, please change your matches to Saturdays. Make it a lot easier for us <laughs> over on this side of the war. <laughs> um, Martin, tonight's uh, tonight's match, uh, Swansea and Liverpool. Uh, what have you gone for here? Because you had a tip in our newsletter. Yeah, I, I kind of um, I've gone for Liverpool minus one point five on the Asian handicap. Actually, uh, one point eight five. Um, I just don't see not on paper. I just don't see Swansea doing anything. Uh, Liverpool to win by two or more. You know, uh, it's, Man City couldn't cope with their attacking force and, and Swansea certainly are. Um, <laughs> you know, it wouldn't surprise me if Firmino got another one or two goals. Um, I'll just read just re- some T news as well. You, you know, Renato Sanchez, eight, T- Tammy Abraham and Van der Horn uh, are all doubts as well. So if they don't play for Swansea, then uh, you know, they're uh, in trouble. Mm. Um, weirdly, I, I saw that um, I was reading that Liverpool trained randomly this morning at Port Talbot Towns ground, <laughs> and like just, t- just turned the coach just turned up and a, and yeah. a couple of locals just spotted the coach. And were like, "What the hell are they doing there?" And they yeah, just mad. trained on their pitch randomly. Um, That's pretty weird, all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, this point of clubs things. He he come out like a genius now if they win, or else there else this would be a huge mistake <laughs> if they lose. You can't, you can't you can't see beyond the Liverpool win, can you? Nah, look, stranger things have happened, and see, this is the thing with Liverpool, like, there's one, there's one bet I do like with Liverpool, and it's usually after about ten or fifteen minutes, or even twenty minutes into a match, and it's going uh, Liverpool over one and a half goals, because usually by then it's around evens. Yeah. But the thing is with Liverpool is that I'm just so used to them letting, not letting me down, because you know I'm not, you know what I mean, because I support them, yeah. but it's like. Yeah, I'm kind of just waiting for a, a bad result now because they were so good against City and they've been so yeah. good lately. And it's just, it's common. It's common. It's going like Burnley yeah. are going to beat them 2 0 or something. Would, yeah, it would be typical Liverpool. They beat Man City. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. And they go to Swansea and, and, and lose 1 0. Yeah, 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 yeah well, totally, totally, absolutely typical for <laughs> them to go right and win 1 0. So, <laughs> so maybe that's the insurance. So it's Liverpool. Minus one and a half, but also Swansea one there. <laughs> <laughs> um, have we got else, uh, Martin? Let me see. I had some talking points. Um, with this. I was just looking. Um, obviously, we we um, we had um, pro tips to Marco on the podcast, didn't didn't we? And he tipped up draw no bet Roma. I tipped up yeah. Roma in a draw, and that that did come mm-hmm. in. So that was quite yeah, happy one to see yeah. that. Last last couple of minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, was yeah, I think it was the eighty second minute or something. Um mm-hmm. well, I was the Me- oh, no, sorry, I'm thinking of the did you see the Memphis Depay goal? Oh, that was against- incredible. All three goals oh, in that wow. game were insane. Wow, they really nuts. Is. Um, yeah, two that, one. that goal was special. Um It's a shame uh, because he, the- he played for United, he, he looked like he, he could be a world beater, but it just didn't work mm. out for him in the Prem. Yeah. So you know, with some players the Premier League just it just doesn't suit them, does it? So Yeah. Uh, yeah, well it's too much pressure for him, I suppose, or something like that. What was the other match? Yeah, uh, Pro Tips of Johnny was talking about the, the Ajax Feyenoord matches. I was watching a bit of that the other night. It was good. Yeah. So, you com- know, it's not. Comfortable win for Ajax in the end, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, but yeah, it was quite good, though. The atmosphere, see, the atmosphere, was, well, the atmosphere was class, just coming from, <laughs> coming from the TV. Uh, yeah. now, the quality wasn't brilliant. But then again, I mean, still, you could see uh, Ajax were still trying to play their old... Type of football, you know. Yeah, it's good to see. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 it was good. By far the best team. They had um, I didn't even know his playing. Your man, uh, Klaus Jan Hunter, was playing for them. Oh yeah, uh, he was playing for Schalke. And I was like, okay, what's he doing back? There? <laughs> I think he signed for, back for Ajax on a free. Talking of other uh, people that have gone back to Holland, uh, Robin van Persie signed for Feyenoord now. When? Uh, 
Yes, last night like, or this morning. Really? Yeah, because well, yeah. he wasn't playing the other day. No way. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, he's gone back to final, which would be interesting. Um, he's getting wheel in the middle of the old Zimmer frame, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I reckon uh, that's it then, man. Look, I'll, I'll quickly give yeah. my, uh, my my uh, tips for tonight then. So I, I tipped um, in the NBA. Oh, where's my newsletter thing down here? So, yeah, uh, Utah Jazz are uh, taking on the Atlanta Hawks. I've gone for... Utah Jazz to cover the spread here at uh, so to um, Utah Jazz minus two and a half at one point eight seven uh, had a double as well uh, NHL and an NBA double so the Philadelphia sixty I keep saying that the Philadelphia seventy sixes Friday and Saturday sixty seven is Paris sixty something else Martin oh. um, Philadelphia seventy is awful and it's every time I say it out loud brilliant sorry. <laughs> my mom, my mom's not watching me. <laughs> so look, the Philadelphia um, 76ers, they're at 1.63. So I'm putting that in a double with the Colorado Avalanche, who are um, very much the underdog, but they're mm-hmm. playing uh, at Toronto Maple Leafs, who, are, uh, who aren't in a great run of form at home. So my double with both of them is, uh, oh, where's the price? Oh, where's the price? The price on that double is three. Point seven eight. So uh, I think it's worth a shot, especially with the Maple Leafs not doing well oh, at true. home. Um, and else, Martin, then before we go, no, not really. I did write a couple of stats down for the Premier League. I might as well reel a couple of them off. Um, Theo Walcott obviously got an assist at the weekend for Everton. That's mm-hmm. his first assist in four hundred and seventy-five days. <laughs> That's mad. Ridiculous. <laughs> um, Willian for Chelsea. He. Surprisingly, he, he's actually played in his 50th consecutive Premier League game at the weekend. Um, longest run of only Premier League player at the moment, which is pretty good. And Lacazette's goal for Arsenal uh, randomly was the 500th goal by a French player for Arsenal in the Premier League, um, which is 358 nice more stuff. than any other club. Um, <laughs> Roy Hodgson, obviously, they got battered by Arsenal. He still never won a Premier League derby uh, in London. Uh, drawn three, lost eight. Um, David Hay has now got the most clean sheets in Europe's top five leagues with 14. Um, that's about it, really. Gomez for Watford, a little stat there. The first time in 100 games that he's not been in goal for Watford in a top flight game. Oh. Um, and that's about it, really. Yeah, f- nice, nice few stats for you there. Lovely stats, man. Lovely, 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 lovely. <laughs> exactly the kind of stuff I want to hear, man. Great stats. <laughs> Right, so look, um, yeah, yeah, tell everyone where you are then on Twitter and the internet. Yeah, guys, come and have a chat to me on Twitter. You can find me at ProTips to ENG and on Facebook at ProTips to Martin. Magic. And you can find me on Twitter as ProTips to Pod. I look after the podcast. And I'm on Facebook, ProTips to Paddy. And make sure and join our groups. Uh, well, first of all, go to Facebook and like our Facebook page, even though you already have because you're watching this. But tell your friends. So uh, <laughs> facebook.com forward slash Pro Tips UK. Join our groups as well. We have groups, uh, football groups, Premier League groups, uh, EFL group, uh, which are, yeah, sorry, say that again. We have a Premier League group and an EFL group. We have a European football group. Then we have an NBA group, NFL group, NHL group as well. So join all of those, whichever ones that you're into. And, uh, yeah, make sure and get over to protips.com. And um, yeah, just uh, get some brilliant uh, winning sports tips and join up. We didn't, and, buddy, one thing we didn't mention, we didn't uh, talk about the Australian Open, did we? No. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win the men's title now? Did you see Djokovic earlier today? Uh, not Djokovic. That's that's not who's going to win it. No, uh, I mean he got he got knocked out earlier today by a Korean qualifier. That's crazy. Okay, so, so, who, who's, who's the? Let me, let me quickly check. Then who's the favorite? Federer. Yeah, you got, Feder, you got Federer and Nadal, uh, Dimitrov. Um, okay. I think you got Burdic still, and you got that Korean mm. qualifier Hyung, who just knocked out Djokovic this morning. Um, yeah. Got the English guy, uh, Carl Edmund. No, you reckon? No, no surely not. <laughs> oh, probably Federer. Have, have, Federer and Nadal, man. I was going to ask you actually: have, have Ireland got any tennis players ever? Uh, ever? Oh yeah, they're they're all at the level beneath. <laughs> the, the top one. So they right. are. There are there are yeah. a few. There are a few. Actually, my uh, uh, I'm, 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 the equivalent I'm, of uh, Sunday League football. Where is I have? Where's my um? I have a friend from from Ireland who I studied journalism with, and he does 
tennis journalism. I can't find his website. Uh, uh, I'll give it up the next time. Like, a challenger series. Got, yeah, yeah, see, yeah, stuff like that. All right, but like, a, lot of, a lot of the Irish tennis players, players they're, they're young. They're all like 22, 23, that kind of, kind of age. So they're, he reckons there should be a couple in the next couple of years who will make the step up. Like the, 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 there are there are professional ones. They're just not on the on the on, on the big circuits, you know. Yeah, good um, to see. Good to see. Uh, where is this tennis thing? Okay, look for, for the next tennis podcast. Yeah. I have it. Hopefully, hopefully I'll get him on someday as well because he's uh, he's class. He, he knows so much about it. Um, yeah. When is look, when is your next tennis podcast, buddy? Yeah, not until to Fred, not not until Johnny comes back because he's okay. uh, he's away on holidays now. But we planned to do uh, yeah as soon as he gets back, we're going to be doing at least one, possibly two tennis podcasts a week, cool. and uh, we want to do an NF, uh, Super Bowl one uh, before. Am I? Allowed, am I allowed, we're not allowed to say Super Bowl, are we? There's some weird thing. Of course we are. You're not allowed, no, you're not allowed to write. Super, you're not allowed to advertise the Super Bowl because you, you really? don't have a trademark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. you're supposed to, yeah, it's awful, isn't it? Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And um, yeah, so uh, we want to do a, a Super Bowl uh, podcast. We want to do a Winter Olympics podcast as well before before nice. uh, before that starts, which is next week, I think, or the week after. Anyway, right. Uh, this is the third time I'm going to sign off. <laughs> so goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right, take it easy. Good luck.